one of my favorite females, Vanessa Bayer. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Am I, I I'm gonna... just love so many of the amazing characters that you created on Saturday Night Live. I quote you like every day of my life. What was one character that rises to the top for you or that like still resonates every day or that you're like, oh, I just need to be that person right now? I think the person, the character that is the most truly me at my core is the bar mitzvah boy. Because... <laughs> He's the cutest. I mean, it must feel so good because you would just move your mouth in a certain smile and the whole room would like go roaring laughter. Like that must feel really good. It was, it was really fun. I mean, it took a few tries. Like I, I tried subtle stuff like that before and it didn't always, sometimes the audiences would be like, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, I know those crickets on tumbleweeds. Yeah, yeah. You're like, -da 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 -da. <laughs> and yeah. they're just like, no. Not for us. <laughs> and you're like, comedy is like the drive home is painful and awkward and vulnerable. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so this amazing show, I Love That For You, is living out a dream job. It's like a, a shopping network. Yes, um, yes. And um, I, I'm just curious, like, if you weren't a famous comedian or doing this show, like, what job would you pick as a dream job? I actually think that would be it because I watched a lot of home shopping when I was a kid and I really loved how they talked and how they talked about the products and touched the products. And I, um, I also, I think because I watched it so much at such a young age, it's like a language I learned. <laughs> Do, does it ever get actually stuck in your head like a flight pattern for performance? Like, I couldn't watch Samantha in Sex and the City, ironically, because every line I started delivering talked <laughs> yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, honey, did that ever affect you that way? Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, but, okay, this is an odd dovetail, but, you know, it... it Love life. I'm just going straight oh, in. Oh, yes. Okay, Tell great. me about your love life. Is it true that you're on a dating app? Yes, I think I'm, I think we might be on the same. I think we are. <laughs> Have you ever seen more DJs in your life? Um, also, I'm pretty sure that you have to be a surfing photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have to have someone else's kid yeah. in your picture yeah, to show you're the uncle type. Yes, exactly. Um, but you, you have to have a huge dog that's so scary in a way that's like, who is that for? Yeah. And, uh, and you have to be a foodie. Yeah. Um, and, the, uh, and shirtless. You have to be... Sh the, the shirtless photos are so... And there's... It's just like... Yeah, who who is? It's it's a real. It's, it's a tough. Uh, it's a tough place to be. First of all, I don't know if you experience this too, but a lot of times I'll match with someone and then they'll never message me. Oh my god! And I'm like, <laughs> wait, raise of hands. Who has had this happen to them on a dating app? Right? I'm like, why are you here? Is it just like a feather in the cap and then they move That's on? That's what I'm also like. Why? Don't they feel, don't they have better stuff to do with their time than match with someone and be like, okay, and then like go on? <laughs> <laughs> like use that moment to like write a book or... or There's a cafe in Japan yeah. that's about yes. this for writers. Go there. 